All right, guys, we are back in the VT Calais 5 liter. Now, I thought I would do a new video just because I've really changed a lot of things about this car since the last time I drove it. I've uh, lowered it, put some new wheels on it and things like that. And uh, I would walk around with you live, but it is really, really windy outside. So I've just taken some footage, which I'll put over now and just showing you what the car looks like now. I'm really, really happy with it. And uh, look, this car isn't perfect. You know, it, it's not... 100% a show car, but it is perfect for things like this. I've actually gone and filmed a car today, and I'm just driving on the way home, and I thought, you know what, I'll uh, I'll give you guys sort of a quick rundown of, of what's going on. So I've lowered it, and uh, if you guys aren't familiar with these cars, if you're out of Australia, this is like a 1998 Holden Commodore. It's got the 308, uh, sorry, it's got the 5 liter V8 engine. It's the same one that's in the earlier Holdens, the Kingswoods, and is sort of similar you know, in the same family as a 350 Chev, but it's in a newer car, and uh, it's all original, you know, that's how uh, how these cars came in, they really didn't run them for that long, Ooh. and this car is the very last model that you could get the Holden made 5 litre V8 in, and um, it's a really, really cool piece of gear, this car, I only just got it running with uh, the help of a mate the other day, it was just, uh, just needed a tune-up, so I've replaced a lot of stuff in the engine bay, but the timing just wasn't 100% right. So a mate came over, gave me a hand, and uh, I filled the auto with some fluid. And it's just running really, really sweet at the moment. You will notice on the dash when I started in a second that it has an airbag light. And that is because I've pulled out the seats and cleaned the interior. And when you start the car with the seats aren't plugged in, it throws an airbag light. And that is just because these seats have airbags in them. So really easy to get cleared. I'm not too worried about it but i do need to get that fixed but other than that it's running really really sweet at the moment so i won't make you wait any longer what we're going to do is start it <laughs> i'll tell you what this thing is so so fun to drive okay now again if you're not familiar oh there, there's that uh, airbag light that i talked to you about if you're not familiar with these cars, you might not, you know, understand why they're so fun. And uh, we are in a 100 zone here, which is actually why I've come here. I'm not going to do anything stupid, obviously, but... <laughs> oh, it's just such a good noise. It's... A it's just such a good noise. These cars are so fun to drive, and I've been driving it for ages, so I didn't do that on a cold motor. But this motor runs sweet as a nut. And uh, again, it's not fast. It's not gonna break the world. It does have quite a bit of torque. Um, but it's just, this is gonna be probably the go-to car that I sort of choose at the moment because it's just so relaxing. I mean, you know, no feet on the pedals, cruise control, air conditioning and you know everything works and it's just really comfy uh, even though it's so low as you can see there's relatively yeah it's just comfy it's lazy i really really like it and uh, i'm definitely going to be driving this more Ah, uh, it's just such a fun car. I think I should have gone left there. That's a bit of a bugger. All right, well, we're going on the highway now. Again, I'm not gonna go do any crazy sort of kilometers or anything like that, but <laughs> it's just such a fun car to drive this thing. Um, I kind of wish that I was able to have this when I was younger and on my peas and stuff. Really, really cool piece of gear. I really, really have enjoyed having this car. And um, yeah, oh, actually another thing is I've been just doing a fuel test with it. So I filled the tank earlier this morning um, and we've driven 250 kilometers. I've used two, uh, 26.52 liters and we are averaging 10.4 liters per 100K. Uh, there has been quite a bit of highway driving, I admit. Um, and on the cruise yeah there has been quite a bit of highway driving but you know that's still pretty good this is a you know quite an old car now this is from 1998 and that kind of fuel economy from a big old five liter and you know because i haven't driven it for so long 
I have been giving it, a, you know, I haven't been babying it. <laughs> um, I, I don't thrash my cars or anything like that, but you know, they're they're good cars. They can handle it. All right, I'm going to go up and around and over this bridge. But yeah, these just, um, I absolutely love these old Holdens and you know, a lot of people might be watching this and thinking, how is that old? But you know what, they are old now, 1998 and I'm, even myself, I'm born 97 and even I'm getting a bit old. So the, the car is uh, not far behind. And uh, I really do think that, you know, admittedly, maybe not my particular model, but these will be future classic cars. The SS, I think, especially any of the club sports, pretty much anything with, pretty much anything with this uh, with this running gear, because you just don't, they just don't make them like they used to. And uh, look, they're not, they're not fast. If you're wanting a fast car, this isn't it. It's really not that quicker than than the EcoTech, but it's definitely got more torque. And again, it's not all about speed. You know, sometimes you just want to enjoy it, have something fun to drive. <laughs> Jesus. Sorry, we, uh, that was a bit crazy there. Um, but yeah, it's not always about speed. Sometimes, sometimes you get these because they're fun to drive. And, wow, well, I just, I just love it. So the reason I actually bought this car was during COVID. I bought it for three, no, sorry, four thousand dollars, and I was lying in bed one night and I was planning to buy another car. So I actually had a bit of cash. Anyway, I was lying in bed. I'm a tradie, so I worked at six in the morning, and this was at like nine o'clock at night. And anyway, I saw this pop up one minute ago, and I thought, oh, I have to have that car. I I have to buy it. I don't care how I make it happen but it's got to happen and as soon as I saw that I went and you know inquired luckily I saw it one minute ago so I was the first person to see it and I went and met with him that night paid a mate uh, to come and drive me out and yeah I'm we uh, and I saw it bought it on the spot drove it around the around the block and I uh, ended up buying it. Of course, there were a few things. Now, I did buy it off the original owner's family. However, the the young bloke um, I bought it off, I think he had... Um, I think the young bloke had got it off his grandparents. I think he might have given it a bit of a hiding, done some uh, burnouts and stuff in it, but it wasn't too far gone. You know, it was only a little bit. And then he just needed the money, so I gave him the money, drove it home. It did have a bit of rego, I think and uh, then it just sat for a while at the front of my house until it was ready for Club Rego Age. It was so close when I bought it that I thought oh, it's got to get a roadie anyway. I'll just wait until the roadie is uh, is due. So, sorry, I'll just wait until the Club Rego is due and then I can just do one roadworthy and get it on the road. So, yeah, that's the story of this car. Uh, in terms of the exhaust, it's just stock other than no rear muffler. I just had an exhaust lying around in the shed from my old SS and I just put it on there so I didn't know what it was going to sound like. It is a little bit droney, I admit, but at least it's a V8 and, and not a 6 drone. I'm not a fan of the 6. But yeah, so the radio doesn't work. That's my doing. Uh, there was, it did come with a touchscreen and I've just put this um, Calais one in it, but it doesn't work. So I've got to figure that out. But I don't care really if it works or not because I can have a little Bluetooth speaker. But I love the fact, I love the way that it looks. And you will notice it's actually got a Series 2 interior with all the wood grain and stuff. Uh, I bought a VT Calais that had been in a wreck in December last year, a VT Calais L67, and I swapped all the interior over to this car because this car's interior was really tired. It was all broken and, and plastic, you know, it was just knackered. And I've replaced the seats and door cards steering wheel um, actually pretty much everything in here other than the cluster that's the original one but it just needed it really needed some love this car and it, it deserved it so I gave it to it and yeah I'm really happy I, I love the way it looks I love the height I love the wheels I love the sound there's not I don't think I'm going to do anything else really to this car other than tidy a few things up I'd love to paint the rear bar and 
and things like that. But yeah, if you guys book me in to uh, come have a look at your cars, it's it's probably either going to be this or the wide van that I come uh, that I come in because they're just comfy cruisers. And uh, again, they're not breaking any world records. They're not super fast, but they are fun to drive. They're relaxing at the same time. You know, I'm not stressed or anything. Um, I'll just pull in here and. I don't know, I just love everything about this car. Um, one thing that, one little weird oddity of the Series 1 VTs is they've got the same indicator stalk as the VRVS Commodore, that really big uh, stick, stick one. But yeah, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this little video. It was only gonna be, oh, it was only a little one to do on the way home. I've been filming a Holden Chimera and uh, I just thought, you know, that I'd, show you this uh, i've got a new setup you know little new gopro here and i thought that i would show it off and see how it comes up but yeah really really happy with this vt i've totally fallen in love with it so guys if these are your kind of videos please follow along subscribe there's going to be heaps more of this stuff coming a lot of other cars as well if you'd like your car on the channel please reach out to me i would love to do videos with really anybody's car doesn't have to be a Commodore, it could be a Chimera like I've done today, but I really have enjoyed this experience. And if these are your kind of content and you like these cars, then please follow along, subscribe, and thank you for watching.